Well, with all this outdoor stuff, uh, crazy stuff is happening. Uh, crazy experiences for sure. And tonight is one of them. So uh, we, in our coyote trap, caught this wolf. And that wolf has to be released. And so uh, we're gonna try to document releasing this 100 pound wolf, see how that goes. One of the biggest fears we had when we started trapping with footholds, uh, going for coyotes and bobcat and all that kind of thing, was that we'd get a wolf. And today was the day we got a wolf. Pretty awesome experience overall. Uh, I've got a catch pole that is about eight feet long that allows me to go over and humanely catch the wolf because we have to release the wolf. It's still a protected animal with no trapping or hunting season here in Minnesota. And while we'd love to harvest a wolf, uh, we're not allowed to here. And so we need to let that wolf go. And so we get on him with a catch pole, get that around its neck, uh, get the wolf calmed down a little bit, let it bite the pole if it needs to, whatever. And that's how it worked out. And then get it around its head, pull it in tight, but not so tight that you choke it to death because you want to be careful and you want to be able to let that thing go. And then I just got in and I drove the wolf down to the ground as hard as I could, put 250 pounds, my weight, on uh, the pole, not on the wolf's neck, to make sure that it couldn't get up and get closer to my my good buddy who was uh, releasing the foothold on that. So he released the foothold, and that's when you really get in for a ride, because uh, once the wolf realizes its foot is no longer caught and you just got it collared with uh, by the neck with the catch pole, uh, that's when it, it knows it's time to give a little fight. And... Uh, that was pretty awesome, being six feet away from a wolf uh, with uh, with just a catch pole holding on to it, trying to muscle that thing. It wasn't the biggest wolf. We've got bigger around here, but even still, that is a wolf, a timber wolf. Had my good buddy with a dissident shotgun and some federal buckshot sitting behind me just in case the thing came my way after I let it go and released it from the catch pole. And all in all, my heart was going, I don't know, way too fast for about 16 minutes while we worked through the process. So I went from my biggest fear trapping uh, to catching a wolf and not knowing exactly how I'd handle that situation to a super intense evening, an awesome experience. And uh, we let that wolf go in one piece. It'll be in good shape. It'll be killing our deer by tomorrow, I'm sure, which I'm not a big fan of, but gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm going to write my representatives. I'm going to let them know my wolf numbers are super high here in my area and hopefully uh, push them to give us a trapping or a hunting season for wolves so that we can have better fawning success, better deer. Uh, really, uh, that's, the, that's the end game is they're eating them all so we don't get to eat as many. Um, but one way or another, we got to wrestle a wolf tonight. Uh, super cool experience. And we got the wolf out of here safely and we checked that box. Check that off the list. No longer worried about uh, getting a wolf in there and what the heck we're gonna do. Um, not that you can be complacent, cause it's a wolf. Thing will bite the heck out of you. But uh, we got away with it tonight and uh, pretty neat deal. <laughs> oh, thank you.